Hi, I'm Beth with the University of Florida Scamby County Extension, and I wanted to share some really important information with you for those homeowners who may choose to use an herbicide around their home landscape. I was at the store the other day, and we occasionally will spray around our office, so I purchased a ground clear product because we have some areas where we don't have a lot of plant material but we need to keep those weeds from reoccurring. Now when I looked over this product carefully on the label it actually has a signal word of danger. That is the most toxic of, of, of products that we could choose and so we really need to read through that label carefully and make sure we're taking all the precautions. Because sometimes as a homeowner, you may think since you're buying something in the retail nursery that it doesn't have harm for either you or the environment. For this particular product, it has some active ingredients in it that can cause irreversible eye damage. So it is extremely important we read through that label and we are going to wear the proper protective clothing when we use this product around the appropriate area. So some of that would be a chemically resistant glove. We also, for this product, need to wear some eye protection when we're both mixing and applying. That could include some goggles and a face shield because remember, this product can really hurt our eyes. Also, we always need to wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, shoes, and socks, no matter what we're applying to keep that product from contacting our bodies. Uh, there are some additional precautions on this label, so let's go take a look at a site where we can apply it, and then we'll look at one that it wouldn't be suitable for an application of this product. We're here in an area of our garden that we don't have ornamental plants other than what's in containers. So we could use that ground clear type product that contains an herbicide that has a little bit of a residual to help keep our weeds from creeping into this area along the outer border. We would clear out our desirable plants to make sure, make sure we mark off our area so we don't have any people around when we're spraying. We're in the proper PPE according to this label, which is quite a bit. We want to cover our entire body and have eye protection, and then we can spray this herbicide safely using the proper application techniques. Uh, one thing, we don't have any ornamentals around this because this can be taken up by the roots of ornamentals, and we don't have to worry about this chemical moving off site. It's going to stay where we put, where we place it after we spray. So there are some environmental considerations as well as the application site, so be sure to read through that label. So let's go take a look at another area where we really would not want to use this product. We're standing in one of our walkways that you would think would be a great spot to use that ground clear. This is a brick area with lots of weeds and spurge coming up through it, and it would be nice to be able to apply something to prevent those from coming back for an extended time. However, if you read the label carefully of that ground clear, it says do not apply within the root zone of ornamentals. And I am surrounded by ornamentals here. I have trees and shrubs, and those roots are gonna move under this hardscape. And if I apply that product here, I could injure those plants. So you have to be sure to read the label completely before you apply something. If not, you, have to, you need to choose the appropriate product that's gonna be suitable for this site. And there are ones out there that we can apply to this area that would be safe for our surrounding ornamentals. So just because it's being sold in a nursery doesn't mean it's extremely safe all the time. We still need to take those precautions with our personal protective equipment and also have considerations for our surrounding environment. Herbicides are a great tool that helps us in weed management as long as we use them correctly. So remember, always follow that label. For more information, contact us here at the University of Florida, Escambia County Extension.